Guess who's back? Back again. Zoom is back. Tell a friend. Woo! Woo! Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? All right, guess who's back, guys? So what's happening? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy, and I'm a flow state coach. If you know what a flow state coach is, flow state coach is somebody who helps you feel better and perform better. It's known as the optimal state of performance, the optimal state of consciousness where you can just be fully you and more of you. You can access more of you, okay? And a huge aspect of this, and this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, is to enjoy the process. Now, a lot of people forget this aspect that you actually have to enjoy what you're doing. We forget that. But enjoyment actually allows that flow state to take place. You've got to love what you're doing. Otherwise, how are you going to challenge yourself? How are you going to challenge yourself in something that you don't enjoy doing? I have some answers for that, one of them being finding out your strength and optimizing that as much as you can in that activity. However, enjoyment is a huge crucial aspect of this. So you've got to make mundane little things like daily routine things into fun, into rituals, making them fun for you, making yourself laugh, make understanding your own mind so that you can do what you need to do in order for you to thrive. Okay, I'll give you an example. I didn't feel like eating an orange today, but I made it into a Dragon Ball. And someone said this was like a Soviet orange, and I told them, we are not the same person. Okay, you're different from me. <laughs> okay, so basically, why did I do that? It's fun. It's fun. I see that. I understand my own mind. I know how my brain works. I understand the power of flow state as it relates to ultra instinct. I know how impactful it is to understand how my mind works and how quirky this little thing is. Just taking a marker and drawing like a red star on it changes my perception of it. So as you change the perception of something, you allow it to actually transform you. Okay? But what I'm actually doing is I'm giving this orange an intention. Right? So when I eat it, it's going to have a different effect on me. Rather than just eating it, yeah, I know, I have to kind of get my vitamin C, whatever. Right? So this is a little silly example, but you can do this with pretty much anything. Okay? Let's say that you have to uh, do some task, like let's say you're, you're at school, I know you're distanced from school right now, but let's say you are doing an assignment and you just don't want to do it. You just don't feel like, like it doesn't resonate with you, you know, but you, you've got to tap into the flow while doing that assignment. So what can you do? You can gamify it. You can be like, this is me fighting the boss level of this assignment. And looking at it from that paradigm changes and shifts your state completely because it makes you the avatar actually acting from the position of the joystick, right? It makes you a different being. It lets you step into the role of the gamer slash player who can now fine tune their video game according to their liking. Now, of course, sometimes random things happen and random occurrences happen out of the blue. A lot of the times we have unhealed aspects of ourselves or wounding that trickles into our daily lives at times. So that's, this is also why healing is incredibly important and I would highly, highly suggest that you heal yourself to the best of your ability that you can and nobody can spark up the healing process for you. Nobody can speed up the healing process for you. That's got to be an internal shift and that's got to happen from you. So. You know, you got to give yourself time. you got to give yourself the time to heal, but also, what are you choosing to do in the time that you're healing? What does healing look like for you? Because certain self-care activities for certain individuals don't look the same for other individuals, okay? So, you watching anime past midnight might be the way that you care for yourself and treat yourself, okay? Why? Because it's soothing, because you resonate with the characters, because you learn lessons from it and morals from it, uh, because you... So, the intention is important, right? If you're doing it from a space where you're like, 
I'm going to do it so I'm going to numb myself and distract myself from my current problems. Okay, then it becomes like an escapist tool. It becomes an escapist tool rather than a growth tool. We talk about IG growth hacks. What about real life growth hacks? Right? We talk about like optimization and algorithm management in Facebook. What about real life algorithm management? What about the patterns of life? How could you manage that? If you look at this concept, right, because social media is very, very intricate and messed up in, in lots of ways, right? It, it is a universe, it is a world, it is a galaxy by itself. But if we can pull some strings from that world, and if we can pull some strings from other worlds, like let's say you're a painter and an artist, you use a particular jargon to thrive in your environment, right? You know what a palette is. But anywhere else, you go and you start talking about palette. Like, if you start talking about palette in dentistry school, right, they'll be like, oh, you mean the top of your mouth? Like, they'll be like, what? No, I mean a paint palette. Like, how are we supposed to know? Well, two different crafts, two different jargons and vocabularies associated with them. And the worlds often don't mix together. They don't smack together and meet in the middle. So it's really, really important to get that perspective and understand that there are so many different types of people out there. Okay, there's people called other kin that identify as being animals. Okay, you've got to understand this. You've really got to understand this. There are nuances in human beings that make them different. And at times, I felt like I wanted to be different, you know? It's like, it's become an urge rather than an actual exploration and a maintenance of my uniqueness, you know? So, you know, I say that in Flow Jedi's, we have a group of full of weirdos. Like, we're all weirdos, but we're proud of it, you know? Other people, you'd say, hey, you're weird. They'll be like, oh, no, I'm not. Why are you saying that? They, they resist that image. But us, you call us weird, we're like, hey, you haven't even seen my full power level yet. You haven't even seen my full evolution yet. Like, what are you talking about? You ain't seen nothing yet, okay? You think this is weird? Wait, two years from now, things are gonna get weird. In a good way. Okay, not in a bad way. Like, we use terms like that crazy, weird, um, delusional. We use these words to mean bad things, right? And oftentimes, they can be gaslighting terms. So we have to learn how to optimize that and we have to learn how to enjoy the moments where you can take space away and create containers of space very quickly within yourself and outside of yourself to be able to generate a momentum of energy that spirals you upwards, okay? Where you're actually living through a higher vibrational frequency, right? You are actually showing up differently from that state of consciousness because if you show up from a particular state of consciousness, you're looking at your problems in a different light different way. You're actually perceiving your problems very differently from a different state of being. Okay? So I tell people this a lot, like, you know, you got to watch your state because it's like that state is determining everything. Everything. How you eat, how you sleep, how you walk, how you talk. Okay? So you, you've got to determine, like, what can I do to fully access the truest of my being? Like, why do I care so much about what other people think, you know? What is it about that that's holding me back? And these questions actually unlock different aspects of your individual persona and personality to be able to create a lot more, right? Because we're, we're focusing in flow state, we're focusing on that ego depth, which is getting you ultimately a rebirth into the character so you can step in and be who you truly prefer. So make things fun for you guys. That's the main message. I mean, if you want to draw like a star on the orange, that's one way to go about it. But you can also make things much more humorous, see the light in situations because you are light. And so I leave it there. Have an amazing day. May the flow be with you. Have the best day ever and stay legendary. Let's go.